if this situation at yung ginawa ng grupo ni Congressman Velasco kagabi makes it impossible for me to finish the budget in time to help the country really recover. Magkakagulo lang kung hanggang uh, October 14, uh, tapos ganyan ang mangyayari. No? I hope to be able to see the President personally to also explain to him. Congressman Velasco told the President that he is ready. Then I think the best time for him to prove it is now. Gusto mo ng September 30? Sige. If our colleagues want you today, ikaw na. Let him show that he can pass the budget on time. But more than that, let him show that it will be a great budget. A budget that all of us will be proud of. I've worked hard to make this Congress a Congress that I, our colleagues, our families can be proud of. I will not be a party to letting the president down. So I am offering my resignation here and now to you, my dear colleagues. My faith and the faith of the 2021 budget and the faith of the leadership of the House is in your hands. Please, don't vote on party lines. Don't accept or deny because of positions or what the president may say, what I might think. Bumoto kayo sa akin o hindi, tanggapin nyo man o hindi, you are my friends and colleagues. We will have to struggle together. So in the end, in your conscience, you have to decide what kind of budget and who will lead you to that budget. And if you say it's neither me nor Kong Velasco, I have a couple of names. Pero personally na lang yung tanong sa akin because this is a house, the 18th Congress, that has transformed from the House of Representatives to the House of the People. And I am proud of it. God bless the Philippine Congress. Salamat po sa inyong lahat.